Hey there, my name is Joe Barnard, and today I'm going to talk about the state of the BPS rocketry program. A few weeks ago, I had to put the program on hiatus. I'm a freelance videographer by trade, which means that my income is not dependable, and by that logic, the funding for BPS isn't dependable. To help fund the project and get it back on its feet, I started a Patreon page. Donations or pledges are by no means required, but there are some cool rewards there, and I would highly recommend checking them out. In more exciting news, I recently started development on something called the Vector Avionics System. Vector Avionics will be a commercially available thrust vectoring kit, allowing anyone with basic rocket building skills to get into a more advanced section of the hobby. Development on the system is already well underway, especially with the flight computer. You can see a preliminary board layout in the background. If you want to learn more about the system, you can visit bps.space slash vector. Moving on, let's talk about Relay F3. The launch failed in a rather spectacular fashion. After a bit of investigation, I found that the cold weather on the day of launch affected the static friction of the launch pad umbilical to the rocket. Even though I had the ability to abort at the last second, I didn't see anything was wrong due to the low lighting conditions. Depending on progress between this and the vector avionics system, Relay may be able to launch again as soon as mid-April. Coming up in the next week or so, I'll be sending out the first board revision to get printed for the vector flight computer. I'll also be redesigning the TVC mount and rebuilding most of the flight software to work between the vector system and Relay. As always, thanks to everyone who supports this project, whether it be through Patreon, following on YouTube or Twitter, or just kind of hoping things work out, which is mostly what I do. If you have any advice or thoughts on the project, you can contact me here on Twitter at Joe Barnard, or there's a contact form on the website as well. Links to everything I talked about are in the description below, and I'll talk to you soon.